I don't care that they scrapped affirmative action. This video will be really quick. It's general understanding that affirmative action was a way to ensure that non-white people, particularly black people, were accepted into traditional institutions and societies that chronically or culturally excluded or exclude black people for a number of reasons. Due to slavery, most blacks were not able to get an education, they were tortured and sometimes in a lived if they were caught with a book. Sometimes women of any color were as well, particularly black women. The only time a black person was able to learn literacy or math or trade skills was if the white person or people they know personally allowed them or paid for their efforts. Obviously, a slave or slave descendant would not be able to get an education otherwise. Thus affirmative action in the same sense gives or gave black people a chance. The reason I find issue in the modern practice, not theory, of affirmative action is that it gives black people fish instead of teaching them how to fish. Many black people will waltz into universities with a bad education especially if they came from predominantly black communities in present time which are known for bad public schooling due to lack of local funds, and they waltz out of top universities with Mickey Mouse arts degrees, thus lacking practical useful knowledge and skills beforehand and after college, and continue in society as inferior many times. Affirmative action also undermines the necessity of a good education when it brings black people in on stringent quota let alone quota at all numbering them rather than valuing them. Affirmative action in the workplace is even worse. It is degrading and intimidating to be asked for your race during a job application behind the guise of affirmative action, which ironically is supposed to prevent your race matching at all during applications and interviews and in the workplace. What's more, your race can garner you a tax credit, especially in combination with gender or disability and if you collect welfare, if you provide this information to employers which is not required by law but it's also not against the law for employers to require it or still ask for it. If you are a tax credit, you are ultimately allowing the company to use you to tell the government, hey, we hire at-risk people, even if you are not at risk and are a successful or stable or educated person but your race can deem otherwise on paper. Therefore, we need you to go easy on us with fees. Cool, thanks. Now that you know we hire at-risk people, what we pay them is a charity even if it is an underpaid pittance. Affirmative action is also exploited by non-black non-whites, such as members of model minority groups who don't need affirmative action at all. But they use their race to make it even easier to enter into top universities, which they had a much higher chance to be accepted into over blacks regardless. Affirmative action as a theory is great, but is implemented horribly. I got a sniff and a whiff somewhere that it was being eradicated. Affirmative action never helped me anyway. All it did was excuse and enable racism from non-blacks and laziness and undereducation from blacks. With affirmative action scrapped, if you enter any university or company, especially as a black woman, it means you really earned an or that non-black person really believes in you, and aren't just trying to reach tax break quotas. Here's a snippet of my video, I'm black and I want Barbie to win the Oscar for best movie. I'm black and I want Barbie to win and not because I'm a Nicki Minaj fan, because I'm not per se. It's because if the Oscars is going to kickstart the year with positivity and hope for the future, and if they were going to act like they're here for that virtue signaling reason they've been doing lately, and that they're here for the people. Then they need to keep it real. And by keeping it real, they'll award Barbie. Because that's who they really want to win. Skinny white women. And I'm here for it. I'm here for a number of reasons. Putting someone on the stage who doesn't deserve it just because of how they look such as being a person of color in a minor role in a movie that no one really wants to see, is the same thing as putting Barbie on the stage to win an Oscar for best movie. Because the only people who wouldn't want them to win are people who are resentful, and sometimes rightfully so, of skinny blonde women. And Barbie came out as a parody because skinny blonde women know that they don't need the Oscars to start the year off with hope and positivity. It was written by a skinny blonde woman who is very successful before this movie. Pretty much if there was an independent film with Greta Gerwig, it was going to be the most popular indie film that year. I don't know why, however, I saw Frances Ha long ago and loved it. Not because she's a skinny blonde woman, but maybe because she's a skinny blonde woman as that is stereotyped to mean that she doesn't have intelligence, talent or good ideas and just privilege, which is sometimes the case such as Paris Hilton. 
but for many skinny blonde women, her endeavors will be supported more than anyone else's. Period. And that's why Barbie wasn't a dark comedy. It was a light satire. It wasn't even a dark satire. Like Joker? It was just a straight-up slapstick comedy. I didn't see it but I can tell it is. And for some reason, it's nominated for an Oscar. At first I came to the Oscars list for the nominees this year to make myself cringe at the thought of Barbie being on any part of the list. And I went to the Oscars list. Earlier I was browsing through movies from last year and this year. To see what's out there. I found myself browsing endlessly because no movie didn't make me gag after I looked at the cover, the genre, the synopsis, and or the cast. There's only dark movies. I go through all of the movies, just browsing through titles. And it's nothing but horror movies and crime movies. And then in between. Like some kind of cheap glue stick keeping the industry together, are shitty stand-up specials. That's the only stuff I saw and I was like, well, I wonder how the Oscars is faring because what can they possibly choose from? And I'm like, okay, I better not see Barbie on the list because I know Barbie is one of the highest grossing movies of all time which doesn't necessarily mean movie quality. I looked up the background story of Barbie and Margot Robbie walked into meetings. Saying oh I know it's just gonna go viral. And I know this is gonna make a billion dollars. I don't know how she knows that. Not because she's psychic. And she certainly doesn't know what the public wants, she hasn't been a member of the public for at least 10 years. Perhaps because she was a skinny blonde woman. If she's naturally blonde. And she doesn't have the same problems as the average person, simply because she looks like a model. She walks into the job interview, she gets the job. A waitress, to work as a cashier at the grocery store. To work as the scooper at the ice cream parlor. Regardless, she clearly walks into places and gets what she wanted. And that's why people and myself at first did not want this movie to do well, but at this point, when I browsed the list of movies nominated for Best Picture. I was scrolling down that list because I was looking at the nominees for Best Actor and Actress. Lead and Supporting because they are the first on the list. And I realized I didn't see any Asian names. Particularly Korean or Chinese. And I was like, hum. You guys are missing one of your novel tokens. I was being facetious, I was like, trying to prove myself right that there is no Asian tokens this year. And what do I see nominated? For Best Picture. Is Past Lives, and I was like, what is that movie? So I right-clicked it. And what did I see? Asians. Yet they're not nominated for anything else. When have you ever seen anything nominated for Best Picture? And nominated for nothing else? What makes a movie the best, if nothing about it, is the best? Not even potentially because it wasn't even nominated. Oh, I know. It's just the token Asian movie. Now I cried when everything, everywhere, all at once whatever it's called won the best actor. I don't want to butcher his name. I didn't cry when he won, but I teared up when his name was announced. And I was happy for Michelle Yao when she won, because I've been looking up to her since I was a little kid when she was in Crouching Tiger. I might have looked up to her before that because she's been in movies before that and I grew up a 90s baby from NYC during the Hong Kong golden era of film. 90s NYC had a lot of Cantonese people around and South Chinese people. And so I grew up passing through many Chinatowns. There's Chinatown, and then there's places all over New York City that are Chinese and Korean enclaves. And they were sometimes more Chinatown than Chinatown. You go to South Brooklyn, you go to East Queens. Just really all over Queens. Those are Chinatowns. Korea towns, J towns. And I grew up with a whole collection because it was the golden era for Hong Kong, of VHS movies from Asia, with Jackie Chan and Donnie and Jet Li and Michelle Yao and more. And I say this to say. I'm one of the biggest Asian files that you might come across because I don't have this baseless, desperate yellow fever. I have actual socio-cultural and some even historical knowledge about the places I'm interested in and I'm self-teaching myself Hangul. I actually have care. 
I don't just fangirl. I truly have interest. But when I say Asian token, I don't say that derisively or hatefully. I say that because I know that's how the industry views them. I can't imagine if they've win for best picture, how they will feel. Standing on the stage. And they didn't win anything else. They weren't nominated for anything else. What will the Asian female and male lead? Think? You like the movie, but you didn't like us. That makes no sense. Sure, you have the screenplay is nominated and, sometimes Asian last names, all these Chinese last names look kind of American, like Li Long. And I'm not gonna look up who she is, but it looks like an Asian ambiguous last name is nominated for the screenplay for Past Lives. I don't know if it's a white person or an Asian person with that last name which is Song. They could be white. They're probably Asian. However, the screenplay stands on its own. A movie isn't good because of its script. There were times when movies don't even have speaking. Or there is no official script, just mumblecore or ad-libbing. Plus if you fuck up the script because the actor or actress is bad, you're not going to care about the quality of the script. And apparently they think that the actor and actress are not good enough, despite the script. They think the cast of Barbie is better and everything about Barbie is worthy of a nomination hence being nommed for best pick. They only think the script for past lives is good. But not the people who brought it to life. That makes no sense now. I'm not here to say that they should be nominated because, honestly. I've come across that movie, in hindsight many times, and I've passed it up because. It looks boring. Nothing about the film was nominated. That makes no sense. That's like marrying a person and you don't like anything about them. It might happen a lot. But. It obviously should not happen. And it's problematic. So. They're nominating a movie for Best Picture, which in totality says so many things about this movie, are worthy and we just at this point need to nominate the movie. That's what Best Film means, that multiple elements were great. This movie is one of the best of the year for the whole country and other countries. Movie excellence. They put Barbie, then they put past lives. And then I'm sitting here like, well, I don't care about the color purple. I don't think movies that have been made already should be remade. And then be awarded for it. But. Normally when it comes to virtue signaling, if there's a movie full of black people and it's about being black, then they're nominated. Or they certainly lead you to think it will be nominated. And then snub it. They put Coleman Domingo. Who's a good actor, but he's been in so many better things, but the minute he plays a gay guy. He gets nominated? They nominate two severely overweight black women who look like women that if you were black or anyone and if you woke up in the morning and saw that in the mirror, you wouldn't want it. Because you know your life is going to be interesting. I wouldn't say hard. It would be interesting and I don't think that the Oscars constantly nominating and rewarding black people for being their worst should continue. That's really what got Monique in about two decades of career limbo, she was nominated for something shameful and felt her reimbursement did not match the risk and effort put in. So that's why I just want them to nominate Barbie and let Barbie win and just get it over and done with. Because that's them keeping it real.